Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. So today's video, I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm going to be doing a first impressions with Patrick Star setting powder with MAC Cosmetics. So this is his fifth collaboration with them. So this setting powder is not new. Um, it first came out. I'm going to show you guys a picture right here with his first collection, but it was like in a different type of packaging. But this packaging right here, you can tell it's like very different. It's like red. It's cardboard. It's not like the plastic type that was um, in the first collection. I, have, I don't have that powder, but this may be like kind of a comparison. So the powder was kind of like in this type of container compared to this, which is like actually cardboard. Um, honestly, I actually opened this up yesterday and it's kind of difficult to put back in. I don't know if I'm totally into the packaging to be honest, but as you can tell, like right now I just opened it up and to close it, like, I don't know, like it just seems like... A nuisance to carry around with you like it just seems really annoying like see I try to close it <laughs> in this video I'm just gonna get into kind of like the product so I haven't tried the setting powder before if you guys know everyone and their mother talks about this setting powder so I'm excited to try it because everyone says that it's the best one I actually have a surprise for you guys I accidentally ordered two so I have an extra one to give you guys so if all you guys have to do is subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram at beauty by v for two entries and that's it just comment below when you're done and you'll be entered into the giveaway letting you guys know i don't have thousands thousands of subscribers so when you do enter these type of giveaways that i do you're not competing with thousands of people you're probably competing with like hundreds with like a couple hundred and that's it so i'm also going to do a wear test on this product so the time right now is 1 17 it's tuesday december 6 and when I come back, I will show you guys the time. So I'm just going to jump straight into it. I'm going to apply this product onto my skin now. Okay, so before I get into it, I just want to let you guys know what products I am wearing on my face right now. So I'm wearing the Pores No More Dr. Brandt Primer, and I'm wearing the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. All right, so I'm going to open up this product now and try it on my skin and see what it looks like. So it comes with this little fluff thing right here. Um, I don't really use these often, but I think I might just for the video, just for... <laughs> Okay. So I like how many so I like how there's a ton of holes here so you can get a lot of product. So before I apply my setting powder, I usually like to apply my setting powder on top of my concealer while my concealer is still wet. So the concealer that I've been really liking is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I got almonds. Okay, so I'm going to apply that right here. Kind of create like a triangle. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of shake it like this and get a little bit of product up. So you see I got some more to come to the top, and I'm going to press it like this. All right, so I'm squeezing my fluff this way um, just so I can kind of get a better application, like more precise. And I'm going to apply that to my under eye. So I'm actually going to let this set on my skin for a little bit and like kind of bake. And I'm going to do it to the other side as well. And afterwards, I'm just going to get a big fluffy brush and get rid of all that excess product. So I think what works best is when you shake it like this, like against a hard surface. This is my hand, but um, typically against a table, go like this and everything will come up. So I'm going to do the same thing, kind of squeeze it so I can get a better, um, more precise application. I always see all the beauty gurus doing this, so I'm gonna do it too. I really know what I'm doing. But I've seen it. I've seen it done before. All right, you guys. So this is what it's looking like so far. Um, I guess I'm gonna let it bake for a little bit, let it sit, and really set into the skin. And then I'm gonna go after with a fluffy brush and just kind of like clean it off and see what it looks like. But all right, you guys, so it's been a couple minutes. I'm ready to dust this off my skin now.
So I'm going to put on bronzer really quick and then I'm going to let you guys know what I think about the setting powder. So this is what it's looking so far on my skin. I'm going to zoom in even more so you guys can see like what it looks like completely. There's a little bit of sun coming in right now, so this is what it looks like in the daylight. So, all right, you guys, so I'm ready to give you guys my first impressions of the setting powder. So, I really like this. Um, I thought it was really easy to apply. It's so, so soft, and it feels really nice on the skin. All I had to do was go like this, and I could kind of get in the areas. When I first saw it, I was like, um, I, don't, I thought I wasn't going to like it at first. When I first saw it, I thought it was really, really big, but when you kind of squeeze it, you can get in the areas that you want to. So, so I actually like this fluffy thing. Um, the reason I don't really use these fluffy type of things is because I just feel like they're not as easy to clean. Like I feel like if you have a brush or a beauty blender, you can just clean that more often. But this was actually easier to apply than it looks. So, so far I like the setting powder so far because I felt like it closed my pores. Like I felt like it totally minimized any pores that I had. And on top of it, I just feel like it's very, very matte. And I feel like my skin does look really good actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and even zoom in more. All right, so you guys saw I applied the setting powder right here. It feels very smooth. Um, I don't see any cracking yet, so we will see what it would look like in nine hours. I also applied it here as well. I just feel like my skin looks very smooth and it really minimized the pores. So there's sunlight coming in really, really strong right now. So this will give you kind of like what it would look like in the daylight if you were outside in the sun. All right, you guys, so I think my skin does look very, very smooth. I think when you kind of close up to it and in the sun, you can kind of see a little bit more texture, especially right here, which I normally have. I always have a little bit of texture here as well, and I feel like you can see it, but I don't think that the setting powder like accentuates it more. I just think the setting powder uh, really minimized my pores and made it look very smooth. I like it so far. Um, I've tried a lot of other setting powders I wasn't really a fan of. There's no flashback with it either, which is nice. Um, I'll give you guys kind of my first impressions really quick and then later on when I do come back from work I will show you guys how it stayed on my skin all day until 9 p.m. So it's a really long time It'll be on my skin for eight hours by the time I come back and give you guys my final thoughts So I'm just gonna let you guys know what I kind of think about the packaging right now. So I think the packaging is really pretty um I do think the packaging is a bit impractical. I do th wish that they would have stayed with the original packaging I don't know if the original packaging came with this and I actually do really like this. It's just very soft on the skin. It helps apply the powder really nice. Um, it's easy to kind of squeeze like this and get into the areas you want to. Although it does not look like that at first, but it is. It's very easy to get into. It's very flattering and I think this will look really pretty on someone's vanity. So I think my only issue was that before when I would go to close it, I kind of had some difficulties, but now it seems like it's pretty easy and it's going in just fine and I'm not having any problems. But I mean, the packaging is really, really pretty. And you can see it in the sunlight right now, how it's just kind of like glistening when you change when you turn it. So I just personally don't really like cardboard things, um, especially for Mac. Like I feel like Mac is such a high end brand, and I I would expect something like this and like the top to be red or like something different. You know what I mean? But for people who collect makeup, they might actually like this better because it's more aesthetically pleasing. But for practicality, I just don't like cardboard things. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I think about this packaging. Um, I'm going to update with you guys in a little bit about how this setting powder wore throughout the day and probably by 9 p.m. it'll be really dark out so we won't have this like sun coming in so you guys can really see what it looks like in a different type of lighting. All right you guys, I'll see you guys in eight hours and I'll let you guys know my final thoughts on what I think about Patrick Star's MAC Cosmetics setting powder. All right you guys, so it's now 11 p.m. on Thursday, December 6th and I've been wearing this since 1 p.m. today so I'm gonna give you guys a close-up and show you how the setting powder stayed on all day. So, so far it's looking pretty good from like this far. Um, I'm gonna give you, I also didn't spray on any setting spray as well, but here I can kind of see the product breaking down a bit, but on the cheeks it looks really, really good and on the chin too, but I think the chin, for me, um, product always tends to like break down or come off on my chin because I'm always going like this. Like all day I'm just like, mmm. So the only areas where I started seeing like the product breaking down was right here and as I mentioned on my chin. All 
All right, you guys, so I'm ready to give you guys my final thoughts. I'm gonna spill a little bit of tea and let you guys know what I think. So if you're looking for a really good matte powder, this is definitely it. Um, throughout the day, I get very, very oily right here and right here. And even though it kind of started to break down here, it really wasn't bad compared to what some of my other powders look like throughout the day. So just for here on the cheeks, I feel like it did an amazing job. And I feel like my skin still looks really smooth, even though I've been wearing this for the past 10 hours and I've been so I think this product stayed on really well. I was in the city today all day working. I touched my face a lot and yeah, I think it looks really, really good on. All right, you guys, so some other things I wanna mention that I didn't like about this product and it actually has nothing to really do about, and it actually has nothing to do with the product itself or the formulation. It actually has to do with like more the packaging and the price point. So in the very first round, you get one ounce of product and you get better packaging. And I'm gonna post a picture right here. And I feel like the packaging is a lot better in the first round of the Patrick Star Times MAC collaboration. And it was around the same price, but you got double the product than what you get in this round. So I feel like, so I don't have the, so I don't have the powder from the first round. I've just seen pictures of it, but it is similar to this type of packaging. And I would have much rather preferred this. And on top of it, for the same exact price, people were able to get it for 1.1 ounce compared to this at 0.51 ounce. So you got double the product and a better packaging. I think that's crazy. So that's the only thing I didn't like was the fact that this is like, I don't know if having this made it a little bit more expensive or not. So I think what happened was that obviously Mac and Patrick Star know that this powder was very popular. Everyone was asking for it. Everyone wanted it to, to come back. Every time he had another collection, everyone would just be like, I just want the powder back. I just want the powder back. That's what everyone wanted. Everyone just wanted the powder back. So I feel like they knew that they could get a lot of money out of it. And maybe that's why they made less product. They made um, less product for the same amount of price. Or maybe the fact that you added this, made it more expensive. I'm not really sure, but I think it's crazy that you're getting half of the product than you did in the round one. Also, I'm not 100% sure if it was at the exact same price. I'm just hearing this from other people. They said it was the exact same price, so maybe it was a little bit less. Um, if you guys did get it the first round, please let me know if it was less than $39.50 on the first round because I'm very curious to know if people are actually paying the same price for half of the product. I just feel like that's crazy. So definitely let me know if that's a fact. Um, I went all over online looking for it. Um, people say it was the same, but this was like commentary, but I wish I could just get like a screenshot or something of it. And I feel like just to like really confirm. So I don't want that to really cloud my judgment on what I thought about the product itself because the product itself is really good. If you're looking for a super, super good matte formula something that will stay on all day um this is definitely it um all right you guys so i'm just gonna mention this one more time i am doing a giveaway so make sure to enter and basically it's so easy just subscribe to my channel if you want to get a double entry just Follow me on Instagram at Beauty by Drea V. I'll leave the handle here below and I will announce the winner on December 16 and then I will also ship it out by then. So yeah, definitely make sure to enter the giveaway because it's super easy and it's not like you're competing with a whole lot of people. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video.